Now, I've seen different mascots in my day. Right. Oh, God. This you here. He'll do the skank on Young Street, Eglinton, Dundas, Bayview, you, Malvern. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, One foot. What do you mean? What's up? What do you mean? What's up? Again. <laughs> The man gave the gun finger and him only have four <laughs> finger, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, backstage guys, 2014, Juice Cut. We've been dying of laughter with so many of the comedians, but this guy opened the show. Big Norm, you did amazing. You have to, like, I guess, draw different inspiration depending on what crowd you're from. So how did, okay, you're fine. Okay, so you're okay. fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. My name's Big Norm, I had, uh, I had to live up to the name, I guess. Literally. <laughs> But if you saw me on stage... But if you don't believe me, you're like, oh, whatever. Come on, Norm. This racial bobblehead shit. Listen, if there's anybody that knows who I'm talking about, it's Michael Jackson. Because he was both black and white. Right? If you watch his music video for Black or White, this is one of his default moves. He's like, if you think about being my baby, it don't matter if you're black or white. Being a thin it. Being a black or white. Being a thin it. Black or white. And you know at the end when the faces are shape shifting, black guys like he's black, he's white. White guys going like this. <laughs> Chinese guys like yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't make this up. You did so good. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. I, I'm I'm the token Asian guy. I'm not even West Indian or African. That's so. what makes you even funnier. Well, that's, yeah, I guess, like, I'm, I'm the little X factor that's like, what side is he on? Is he, yeah. more, is he more African influence or more West Indian influence? So what side are you on tonight? Uh, you know what? I I am on, on I'm a stand-up guy. I'm a stand-up comedian, so I'm, I'm all for my stand-up guys. Yeah. You ever hear an African-American sing the Star Spangled Banner? That's like a... One minute song, they'll stretch that shit out to 17 minutes and shit. <laughs> oh, say can you see <laughs> ba -ba 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 birth and dawn's early What so proudly we eh, 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 eh. What's a little bit of your story? Like how you got involved in comedy and, and how long you've been doing it? Because you're, you're new to the Juice Cub, yeah? Yeah, yeah you know, I, I did the three the hard way with Jay Martin, uh, Trix and John Paul. And they wanted to, it was the second one, so they wanted to make, make it different. So they added two other, uh, three other Filipinos, myself, Keith Pedro and Ron Jossel. Um, but I came onto the scene um, three years, about three years ago, actually, my three-year anniversary is in December. You know, I, I got thrown onto the Nubian Night through Kenny Robinson, and since then, like, I've been getting these cool gigs, like being the one token Asian guy amongst all these awesome Nubians. <laughs> For the land of the free. Memories. Thank you, folks. I'm Big Norm. Have a great show. Ah. You did great tonight. Congratulations on your performance. Thank Good you luck with everything in the future. And yeah, we hope you do great. Shout outs to Fever TV. I see you, Fever. Yeah. Wow. Hey, Big Norm, Fever TV, Nicole DeVell backstage, 2014 Juice Cup, guys. See you in a bit. Introducing our judges representing Africa. You guys got to do better. There's less of you. Make more noise. Please. Make some noise for Femi in the building. Femi, Lassie, come on Femi. out here, Femi. Come out. No,
You see, the only word that I have for the crowd. Uh -huh. Tantalization. <laughs> Repping Team West Indies. Very loudly, I'm Anybody sure. Anybody here from Jamaica that's representing Team West Indies? Well, let's call out the fireman himself. Hey, Fire hey. King Steeny! Hey. Fire hey. King! Hey. Fire King! Hey. Fire! 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 What do you think is gonna happen tonight? Jamaica, I feel win. <laughs> All who love Jamaica say, Ayasa nice. He is really a comedy legend. Mm -hmm. Means so much to Mark and myself when we started our first show. Please welcome the legend, Kenny Robinson. Uncle Make some Kenny noise. Robinson. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Watch the strut. Working on that Red Fox prostate thing. You know? <laughs> Do you have a feeling like any team right now is going to win just from what you're seeing? Well, I think that West Indies has always been strong, very strong here, big, big homeland. Mm -hmm. But I believe that Team Africa has to win just to make the Ebola virus go away. <laughs> and we start like that. Okay. All right. Mm. From our very own G987. Mm -hmm. He's gonna defend the African side. Make some noise for our good friend, M MC Bonde. Bonde, boom, my head. It's juice. <laughs> See, I just came back from Ghana. Really? And I wanna share this dance that everyone was doing over there. What's the dance? QB tried to show me how to do it. He sat me down in this place. No what is that? And he said to me, Nobody wanna see you rising And when they do, they don't even like it They just wanna see you deep in crisis Drive yourself, you don't need a license Holla her, she can even ride it Go ahead, move your feet just Anybody like know the song? Then Anybody know this? Let me see you! One, two, three, let me see you! Hey! Eyes on toe, eyes on toe Now watch me do eyes on toe Wait, 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 Don't knock like you don't want to pick it up. Yeah, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Next up, uh, the West Indies coach, Dr. J. Make some noise. Ay, ay, ay. Balancing when we on the road. The Soka Princess fans. Dr. J. Hey, hey. We ready? You want to make everybody pull out? Watch me balancing. Hey, everybody from Team West Indies, hands up now. Hands up, hands up. Put your, whoo -hoo. Wheel out, wheel out, wheel out, wheel out, wheel out, wheel out. Wheel it, wheel it. You see, we coming out black because we come to bury them Africans here today. That's it, that's it. And like a typical African bond, they want to be late and deal with it on Sunday. Today is Friday, son. You're dead on Friday. And listen, big up my boy, Steeny, big up Jamaica. So you know how to kind of represent for Trinidad. Hey, 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 All right, hey. hold on. Big up the entire West Indies. White Yardy come, Major Hype come, my brethren J. Martin say he come to eat all the food as well. So everybody supporting Team West Indies. Somebody say, ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. And that done. And that done. All right. Okay. Dr. J, Soka Just Prince. So. Make some noise once again for the coach of Team West Indies, Dr. J, the Soka Prince. He is repping Nigeria. He is a Niger boy. Aja boy. Toronto, put your hands together for African, African A. 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 All right, I'll let you guys know something right now. There's talent and there's talent. Instagram is not a talent. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Some of you ladies, you take Instagram a little too seriously. You swear you're an Instagram model. You wake up in the morning, the very first thing, you go straight to the washroom, start taking picture. Your roommate will be egging you on. Yes, bitch. Yes, bitch. You're killing these haters, bitch. Yeah. Do for the ground, bitch. Yes. Soon as you get 11 likes, you change your bio to for booking an inquiry. What are they booking you for? Any Africans in the house? Yes. Now, just because you have been in Canada for a while doesn't mean you are not African. Most of you might be African. And I'll tell you how you know if you're African. 
If your parents have ever bought you a big shirt, very big shirt, when you try it on, you complain, mommy, it's too big. She will tell you, don't worry, you'll grow into it. <laughs> if your parents have ever borrowed money from you, and when you ask them for the money back, they remind you of every single thing they bought for you. <laughs> and this final one, everybody can definitely relate. If your parents have ever called you from your room to their room to pass them the remote. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's my time. I go by the name of African Ape. <laughs> All right, so let's start first with Fire Kid Steeny. Very, very, very entertaining. Him have lots of good vibes. And the people them love it, them are laughing and asking them teeth. Hey, 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 hey. Right. Uncle right. Kenny Robinson. Tell I, us what you thought about. I got nervous because Trix gave me some shit to smoke when I seen that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, I thought he was very, uh, very likable, high energy. Mm -hmm. He could be clean, so he could be on Africa's Got Talent. And, um, and he reminded me a lot of my good friend, Arthur Simeon. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Thanks a lot, Uncle Kenny. All right. Um, and uh, repping Team Africa, Femi. In the history of me watching comedians talk, he calls himself African Ape. Me and Trick said his name is African Lion. Okay. The reason why his name is African Lion because he went on this stage and he massacred all of the West Indian people. I don't actually if know. If we what have he a translator said, out there that can help us with what just. 2014 the Juice Cup. We are dying of laughter right now. We're backstage with J Martin who killed it before with the West Indies. I told for this man a bedroom bully. I got no way said this style them not ordinary. She has scrabble for the words and I'm a dictionary. Line up called that thing exceptionally. Good evening, Toronto. <laughs> I would like to introduce you to my son. He was born last year when we won the championship, right? Watch daddy, daddy have to do some work, okay? I said that on the radio to Bondi and he said he was gonna kidnap my trophy. I said, that's a boy, you wanna bring back our girls. Leave him alone, leave him alone. Say something. Say something. Be this way you are, Say something. See, this is not a clash, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a clash. Because I'm a Jamaican man. We do not clash. We kill people for fun like Wednesday. Trust me. Yeah. Enough of the gangster talk. How y'all doing, Toronto? Make some noise. 416 representing. Come on now. Come on now. I did a gig just recently, like two weeks ago. It was a sweet 16 birthday party. I was like, what the hell am I getting booked for a sweet 16 birthday party? But trust me, it's not like when we were growing up, people. Remember when we were growing up? You would go to a basement party, go through the side door, get a cup of soup, right? <laughs> and then you get a thin plate to put curry goat and white rice so the gravy runs down your hand. Who remember them? Yo, come on, man. Come on. Come on now. Trust me, I went to this party. It wasn't like when we had the parties. The parties we had were nice. All of the people are against the wall. All these young girls are against the wall. And they have their cell phones. Everyone brings their cell phone into the party. And I don't understand this shit. When we were in the party, we enjoyed ourselves. We were rubber dub 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 Not these people. These people do not dance. All they do is text each other until their favorite song comes on. You know when their favorite song comes on, eh? You see all the girls, and they're like, whatever. Whatever, then you hear every gala, 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 drop, drop, drop. Are you serious right now? I want to hear from all the single ladies in the house, make some noise, single ladies, just single ladies. I want to tell you that I know how hard it is for single ladies today to meet a good man, trust me. I've been surveying it. You guys go to the clubs, and it's so difficult for you to find a good man that is over the age of 30 that doesn't start a sentence with differently and end it with still is impossible. Talk to me, sisters. 
You ever see these guys? Yo, 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 differently, yo, differently. I wasn't really gonna come over and talk to you, but trust me, the man them told me you're wicked still. Are you serious? Yo, I know more times, more times I don't really, I don't really walk up to things still, but I saw you, you were Chris, brethren, so I had to come over more times. More time? What the frig is more times? What is more times? Like, how do you bring that home to your dad? This is my boyfriend. More times, Mr. Johnson. I appreciate meeting you. Trust me, yo. Your daughter, bless. Bless, yo. Bless. I gotta big up my people from Jamaica, man. Trust me, because Jamaican people, trust me, big up, big up, big up. Yad, 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 yad. You know why? Because Jamaican people, all you guys want to talk about us all you want. But you see, Jamaican people, we tell the truth. Whatever comes in here, comes out here, and we tell you the truth. Because I was just in Jamaica. I went to this place called Juicy Patties to buy a patty. Aye, aye, says something. And I wanted good food before I came home. So I looked at the wall, and it had all sorts of food. Aki and saltfish. Me say, yeah, man. Brown stew, chicken. Yeah, man. I looked at the lady. Boy, so much to choose from. Then I saw salt, mackerel, and banana. I'm like, yo. Oh, so much to choose from and then I saw Omni Khan porridge I was like yo so much to choose from and I looked at her to say which one I should take and then she turns to me and says when I have nothing left upon that <laughs> <laughs> I am like what it's 1 30 in the afternoon what are you telling me I don't know what it is about Jamaican people that act like you're deaf she said miss when I have nothing left so this is how I know our Jamaican people tell the truth. I turned to her and I said, excuse me, sorry, you have nothing on the wall. Okay, then what do you have? She says, well, we have juicy parties. <laughs> so this is how I know we tell the truth. So I said to her, all right, all right. You have juicy parties? Give me one juicy party, please. She starts to laugh. She's like, ha ha. Look how you're fat at all, but you want one juicy party when you don't say I want two juicy parties. We tell the truth. We tell the truth. <laughs> One thing, though, I got to say about African people. You guys are very religious people, and I love that about you. I love that about you. All right, for four people who love God. Thank you. The reason why I love that about you is because I realize that you guys instill God in your children early. See, my son has a daycare center, and I went to my son's daycare center, and I love it because each day they let one child pray. It was my son's day to pray, but he had a fever, so the next day they let two kids pray. My son says to me, Dad, what are we having for lunch? I said, son, we're having grilled cheese sandwiches. I said, pray for grilled cheese sandwiches. So I race to school. I see my son. He's like, everyone bow your heads. And he's like, dear Lord Jesus, I want to thank you so much for my teachers and my friends and today we're having grilled cheese sandwich help it to bless our mind bodies and soul in Jesus name amen and everyone's like yay JJ I was so proud of my son and then they passed the mic to another guy his name was you hear it? his name was Kwesi and he was from Ghana now I don't know if you guys have ever heard someone from Ghana pray but they go a little deeper than the average prayer yes because Kwesi gets on the mic and says I want you to close your eyes. Everybody, I want you to close your eyes. Close your eyes. Teacher, I told you to close your eyes too, teacher. I want to know why Kwesi sounds like Lion King. I want to know why you are four years old and you sound like Lion King. Why? And this guy wouldn't even start praying at first. He had to warm them up. He was like this. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Blood of Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Dear Lord, I ask you to bind the lips of my enemies that are plotting against me. Dear Lord, I want you to cut out the tongues of the people who are talking about me. And dear Lord, every day you have us eating grilled cheese. One day I want you to make fufu. One day, Jesus, I want you to make fufu. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. This dude was rebuking grilled cheese sandwiches, man. <laughs> White people were like, oh my God, crazy's gone crazy. <laughs> now as a Jamaican man, ladies and gentlemen, I know you guys in Africa, sometimes you don't go out with Jamaican men, but I had an African girlfriend once in my life and I wanted to tell you that it was quite the experience. <laughs> it was when I was in high school. Her name was Abigail. 
Any Abbeys in the house? Any Abbeys in the house? Your Abby? You remind me of a girlfriend. I'm not saying I'm upset with you, but I think at some time you should. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I just didn't like that Abby. I didn't like that Abby. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> I'm old school. I'm old school. Because it was so hard to call her house. You know what I mean? Her parents had that shit on lock. You know what I mean? Back in the days, you had to make a phone call. Now you can just text someone, come outside, I want to talk to you. No, with me, I had to call her between the hours of 7.30 and 8.30 after she did dinner and had to do the dishes. And when I call back then, I'm old school. I had to be like some sick ticket, 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 sick who do you want to speak to, eh? And I'm like, I want to speak to Abby. And I went out with Abby, and I was like, you know what? I thought it was good. And then I had, I, she used to work some things on me. I'm not saying that you guys all work Obia. <laughs> One day I woke up, and my face on the right side did not move. Did not move. And Abigail, if you know her, I, I just, I just want to say that I hope, I hope a pack of John Crows fly from Jamaica. <laughs> Swoop in here, take off your brain, and yam it. Yam it. Yam it. <laughs> Sorry, Abigail. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a good time tonight. My name is Jay Martin. That's my time. God bless y'all. Come on, son. Let's go. Come, son. Champions. Femi, what do you think of Jay Martin's set? Yo, more times? Wow. I feel the man did an all right job, but I couldn't really take him seriously wearing rockerwear jeans. Like, he's like a waist man, dog. Like, I'm just saying, you know what I mean? So, that's what, okay. Again, if we can get a translation for that, because. No, no, I caught that. I little, didn't catch that at all. Kenny Robinson. Ration. No love for Jay Z, huh? Okay. <laughs> Uh, I've seen Jay Martin very many times. It was his best tonight. He was never funnier. Uh, sharp material. He, uh, he killed it with the opening joke about, you know, leave our sons alone. You're trying to bring home your daughters. That was a home run. Uh, totally in control of his time on stage. And I was surprised that y'all didn't give him a bigger round of applause when he was finished. There you go. All you right. Mother suckers. All right. Fire kid. Steeny. Say what? You know, say me, I go get out. That boy has uh, screw face, so you say about the yard. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> One thing with the, with the West India, you notice me have my own mic? We not share with man. I <laughs> <laughs> do love Jay Martin, say more fire. Ah, oh. Okay. How do you feel? Man, I feel good. And the joy is in the audience. They get to get a good time. It's Africa versus West Indies. We're not supposed to fight. This is not Django. You know what I mean? It's not Eskimo Joe, but no, real talk. It was great. It was a great feeling. The crowd was awesome. T Dot is the best place. It's Screwface capital of the world, but if you do represent, they give you the love. And I felt the love tonight. It was awesome. Awesome.